Okay guys, so to install a 2020 Traverse hitch, first you need a draw tight hitch like this and a Kurt custom wiring kit for the Traverse and then a mount for the seven pin wiring. And if you want to be more safe to use some dielectric grease on you know these connections. Not necessary, but it helps. And so the first thing you gotta do is pop these little clips with your screwdriver and remove these bolts, two of those, and then a Torx for that one and do the same on that side. And what we'll do is we'll remove this whole piece here as all one unit. And we'll have to take off, next, now we're gonna take off these four screws here. Oh, sorry, you're not. There we are. <laughs> and we'll need to pop out this portion here. There's just two, two of those fasteners. And it just, you just pull on it, pops out. And you don't wanna go more than two because you can see that's as far as we can go. We need to access and loosen that bolt there. And then we can take off the whole bumper. So we got the bolts from the window wells taken off. And there are two more, just this one underneath and that one over there. So we'll loosen those and then we can take off the whole bumper. Okay, so now we just need to um, pull this section. There's a, three pins here. You need to pull here and pop these out. I've already done on this side so you can kind of see what it looks like. And it was a little tricky to start this one. But once you get that one, then you just keep working up. So, not too hard. Okay, so the bumper actually pulled off pretty easy. There's one more last tab here before you can pull off the bumper. And you can see the tabs here for the side. And now what we need to do is remove this bar. It will actually be discarded and our hitch will then mount to those same bolts and these bolts here. So take this bar off, bolts there, four bolts there. And then you need to take a tie down and just hook it to your spring there underneath and then to the next spring so you can support your exhaust so it doesn't fall down too much. Here we've supported the exhaust system, the simple tie down. Check your springs and then it supports there. So when you loosen these bolts, this will, will hang without dropping to the ground. Or actually I guess there's another support back here, exhaust hanger that won't allow it to drop too far, but I guess it's better just to they say to use this, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, you see we have our bolts removed, the exhaust is free, exhaust is free, bolts removed, and all you do is take this off. A little hard with one hand. And that's that, now we're ready for the hitch. And the connector we bought over there actually simply plugs in there. And you'll just simply wire it to your opening, your hitch opening. So the bumper is over there. That's what it looks like when you have it taken off. It actually came off pretty easy. And our hitch will be in the opening there and you can still use the cover. And now we can install the draw tight. So for the wiring, you just take off this cover. It's just garbage. And you'll take your wiring connector and simply plug this to there. And then we'll have it coming out to the hitch opening. So I'm going to plug this in, slide the, the hitch in, and get it bolted on. Okay, so I slid the hitch into place. And you can see my wires connected. That will come over here and plug into the wiring connector there. So we have the mount and grease over there for that. Oh, and I forgot to put grease in there, so I will have to pull it out and I'll put some grease in these two. So yeah, and some people complain that these holes don't line up. Maybe Draw Tight updated it or something, but 
I have me a started bolt in it and all the holes line up perfectly. So yeah, totally good. Ready to bolt on and we'll just put everything back the way it was before. These go here, two bolts there, your two bolts underneath, and good. So the kit comes with these bolt fish wires, there's four of them, and technically you're supposed to just slide your hitch into place, and then you're going to have to fish these bolts and that slide washer deal through the hole and then they go down through those holes and then you'll but I'm going to attempt to just put them on this way and slide the hitch right into the holes and see if we can get it lined up without doing the whole fish thing so yeah mine was easy to the bolt method worked they slid right into place I didn't have to use if you can see the other one there it's over here uh, things are lined up Hitch is on, we'll finish bolting. Yeah, I didn't need to fish wires through this little hole. And so now we'll just finish bolting it up and the hitch will be installed. This will come to here and mount onto that mount over there. And the hitch already has a welded on mount plate. So it'll totally look factory. Um, this is probably what the Chevrolet uses for their own hitches anyway from draw tight and Yeah, pretty simple So we'll bolt everything tight put the bumper back on and Good to go. I'll put in the link below to purchase this on Amazon and The wiring kit and also the the bracket in the links below so check it out. Thanks for watching. Okay, so these bolts were a little tricky, not too bad. What you want to do is pull down on the bolt while you're threading on your nut so that the bolt doesn't move around too much on you. And then just slowly hand tighten it and then take the wrench and finish the rest. The other one was the same. Um, some people put a screwdriver above the nut to put pressure against the bolt and then below the bolt um, but I just simply pulled down on the nut, or the bolt, and the nut tightened just fine. And just as a side note, before you tighten everything down and tighten the bolts underneath the, the mufflers, it's good just temporarily fish these bolts through to make sure your bumper's lined up so that some people have a problem getting these bolts through after they tighten the bottom bolts and the upper bolts, so it's better to get these on, make sure your bumper is perfectly centered. Mine's good, got free play on all the bolts. So yeah, now I'll tighten the bottoms, tighten the other bolts. These will go back up here, and we'll throw the bumper on back on and fish the wire through to this. And that just plugs into the back of your connector and the mounting plate over there We'll mount this to the bottom of that. And what you want to do is mount the plate backwards. So don't mount it this way. You want to mount it this way so that this recesses more. So you can fit your cover back onto your bumper. Anyway, that will do it. Thanks.